Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited for today's video. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time and it's a thrift swap. So Joe from Red Dirt in a Dream messaged me on Instagram and asked if I would want to do it. And I have been dying to do one of these, but too scared to approach anybody and ask. So basically what we did, we took some items from our own personal collections and some things maybe that we found out and about, and we swapped. So I sent my package to her. She's going to upload a video of that, and I'm going to show you guys what she sent me. So I'm going to also include a link to her channel down below. Be sure to go check her out. She does a lot of like junking and picking, a lot of stuff similar to me. She's doing a new home right now. She does a lot of the small house and homesteading type videos. So be sure to go check her out. And I want to show you guys what she sent me because it is like the sweetest package. It was like Christmas. So I'm just going to jump right in. On top of the box, there was a little note card. And I'm just going to show you the front of it. A really cute chair with some cabbage and radish. And then a chalkboard on top. And it said, hello, Frugal Farmhouse. But because I took it out, I kind of smudged it up. But I like this. I love the green color. And you can use these in pretty much any season. So I'm really excited to play around with that. Now, right off the bat, she gave me some turkey salt and pepper shakers. And I am obsessed with these guys. I've been dying to put these in my collection. I'm going to go ahead and put a picture in of how I styled all these guys. I don't do much for Thanksgiving. I have a few turkey items I put out. But I do have a platter that I keep all my salt and peppers in, and you guys can check that out. So next I opened up this little spritzer, and of course this goes with everything I do because the gardening and the plants. So just really cute. All right, so this next one, I'm not gonna lie, it took me a bit to figure this out. Uh, there were instructions in the box, but I didn't find them until the next morning, so it took me I don't, a little bit to play around with it, and I'm just going to kind of lean back and show you. So it's this cupcake or cake stand, and this thing is huge. So the first thing I pulled out was all these wood pieces. So I'm thinking they're like wooden spindles, and they have screws on them, and I'm thinking like, okay, you put them together, and it's going to be some kind of like a tall wooden decorative piece. So I was screwing them all together, and I was trying to figure it out. And then I got to the side of the box and I found these round parts and I was like, okay, I can see what's coming together now. And then I found these after, so I had to take it apart and redo it. But how cool is that? It's little icicles dripping down. And as soon as I got this together, the first thing I thought is to put Santa mugs on it. I think this would be so cool with Santa mugs. All right. So she also sent me an ironstone tureen, which we all know I have a little bit of an ironstone obsession. And I love using these, especially fall and winter, but I use them year round now. And with it came a whole bunch of copper colored cookie cutters. So these are the larger ones in here. I've already pulled out the smaller ones and I'm gonna show you those. So I've got a small bell. I've got the round one with the kind of scalloped edges, the star with scalloped edges, holly, a heart with scalloped edges, and a little flower shape. So these I'm going to string on a baker's twine and make a garland for my kitchen. I think it's the perfect idea. Cookie cutters will fit great in the kitchen. Last year I made salt dough gingerbread men, and they lasted maybe a week until I got nervous that they were gonna fall on the floor and the dogs were gonna eat them, and that quantity of salt would have killed them. So I ended up taking that garland down. It just wasn't worth worrying about it. But this will be something that I can string these, hang it up, and just forget about it, and it'll look pretty all season. So I'm only like halfway through, you guys. This was like, it was just so touching. So thank you again, Joe. I'm gonna keep going. Next, I wanna show you guys this scale. And it's American Family Scale. It's got all the little pictures of produce and meat on it. And it's in the white color. So I thought that was really cool. And there was a garden book. Taylor's Encyclopedia of Gardening. And this will be great for looking through. It'll also be good for decorating with. 
And it's got a really pretty color for fall, this orangish brown. So she also sent me this set of, I don't know what the official name for these is, but I think this is what you do with the sheep's wool. I want to call it carding, but I might be wrong. I'm sure somebody out there will know. But a set of these, and they've got the words, the writing on them, and I just thought that was so cool. And there's actually still some wool left in them. I just poked myself with it. <laughs> All right, now I've got two more things to show you. They're mason jars with things in them. The one came broken, because, so <laughs> let me show you. I'm gonna start with the broken one because I'm just gonna pull it out a little bit and show you, I don't want it to shatter. So how disappointing, this is such, look how cool that jar is. You can see the, the hole in it there, but it's full of all these vintage thread spools. I'm gonna pull all the thread spools out. And I'm also gonna take this lid off because this lid might fit on one I have upstairs. So I'm gonna see about that. Okay, and this next one made it intact. This one's a blue one. Look at that, a blue one, and it's got the old clothespins in it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this one as is. I like it. It's perfect with the clothespins in it. It's like the perfect touch. And look how tall this is. This has to be, I don't know, close to like 10 inches tall. So really exciting. I like the blue ones, I love the blue ones. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. I also want to thank Joe for reaching out to me because I'm too chicken to do this. So thank you so much for reaching out to me. I had fun doing this and I had fun kind of thinking about what you would like because I feel like we have a lot of the same tastes. So you guys be sure to go check out her channel. I will link it in the description box. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.